Hey guys, this is Mac Kids 101 and today I'm going to be showing you the second math video on this channel. Now in the last math video, I solved, I proved Euler's identity by solving a differential equation. In that differential equation, like I solved it by using a method called separation of variables. The, differ the differential equation written above cannot be written, solved that way. That's why I wrote it as y prime instead of dy dx because there's, it's not going to help us. So first thing we're going to do is put this in standard form. So, well actually first thing you do is divide out so that way there's no coefficient to this term, but there already is no coefficient. So now we can subtract from both sides to put it in standard form. So we have, um, we have y prime minus 2xy is equal to x. Now, you want to find something called the integration factor. So what you do is you integrate the coefficient in front of the y term, and you want everything to be linear. You don't want any y squared or anything, because otherwise it's not going to work. Um, and if you do have y squared, I'm going to show you how to sometimes make it linear. So we're going to take the integral of negative 2x dx, and now we get negative x squared. Now it's negative x squared plus a constant, but we're not solving this equation. We're not, we're not integrate, solving this integral. Basically, we're just finding something we can multiply both sides to. And that something is going to be e to the, e to the integral of the coefficient of that term. Okay? So now we have y prime e to the negative x squared minus 2x y e to the negative x squared is equal to x times e to the negative x squared. Now you might be looking at this and saying, John, you did not make this any simpler. Like, what well, from there to there, but I'm not, I'm, trust me, it's simpler, and I'm going to show you why. Now if you have the derivative uh, if you have the derivative of a, b, that's going to be a prime b plus b prime a. So here we have the derivative of y times this plus the derivative of that times y. So you can write that as the derivative of something. So that is more specifically the derivative of y times e to the negative x squared, the derivative of that is equal to x e to the negative x squared. And here I mean prime, I don't mean to the one. Alright. Now we're going to integrate both sides. So the integral of the derivative is just the thing, so we don't just can cancel that out. So we get y e to the negative x squared is equal to, and we will get a constant, but we're going to worry about the constant on that side, so we don't have to worry about it on this side. Worry, and so it's going to be equal to the integral of x e to the negative x squared dx. So now all we have to do is take this integral, and then we're basically done. So to take this integral, what do I do? I'm going to do that another color over here. Alright. We're going to let u equal negative x squared. du is equal to negative 2x dx. Okay? So then this is equal to the integral of e to the u, and then we want instead of dx, it's, it's going to be du over negative 2. Okay? And that is equal to negative 2 e to the u plus an arbitrary constant. 
All right, but we want it in terms of x, not in terms of u. So it's equal. It's equal to negative. Or this should be one over negative two. Okay, so one over negative two e to the negative x squared plus a constant, right? Because u was equal to negative, negative x squared, and I plug that back in. So I can erase all of this and just write that there. It's equal to 1 over negative 2 e to the negative x squared plus a constant. Now what you want to do is divide both sides by e to the negative x squared to isolate y and solve. So you have y is equal to, if you divide that by that, you just get 1 over negative 2 plus some constant times e to the negative e to the x squared. And we're done. Or no, divided by. Alright, so it's going to be some constant divided by e to the negative x squared. See, I divided by both, both of those, but since it's negative, you could multiply it. So that's what I did, but I'm going, I just put it here so it's clear. So now it's solved. You could, if I had an initial condition, solve for the constant, but in this case, we don't. All right, the second thing I'm going to show you how to do is make an equation linear when it's not. So here it's linear because all of the powers of y are 1. So let's say I had a y squared here. How would you solve that? Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure that if you have a power higher than if you have a power higher than one, you can only have one of them, you also have a y in there. That's gonna help you cancel things out. So you're gonna divide out by the highest power. So you have y prime over y squared is equal to x plus 2x. y divided by y squared makes just over y. Okay? Now we're going to let u, u be equal to, and by the way, this is known as a Bernoulli uh, differential equation, so credits go to him. Uh, u equal 1 over y, because that's what we have here. So now u prime is equal to negative 1 over y squared times y prime. And now we see that we have that there. So, but with a non-negative. So we have negative u, I'm going to bring that onto the other side. So minus 2xy, no, minus 2xu is equal to x. So this is basically, looks a lot like what we had last time. And then you can solve it in terms of u, and then you can plug that back in. So I'm going to write here minus u is equal to 1 over y. So I'm just going to solve that quickly so I can review what I just taught you. Okay? So, and this should be a u prime. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1 because we want this coefficient to be 1. So we have u prime plus 2xu is equal to negative x. Take the integral of this. So the integral of 2x dx is equal to x squared. So multiply both sides by e to the x squared. So we have e to the x squared u prime plus 2x u 
e to the x squared equals negative x e to the x squared. Then we we make that we say that that's the derivative of e to the x squared times u prime is equal to negative x e to the x squared. All right. We're going to take the integral of both sides. We have e to the x squared u is equal to the integral of negative x e to the x squared dx, which is equal to e to the x squared, and then, uh, so we said u is equal to uh, x squared, du, or no, not u, we're going to say uh, v equal equal x squared, dv is equal to 2x dx. So since we have a 2x dx, is going to be over 2 plus an arbitrary constant. So now we have u is equal to, we're going to divide both sides by that, so we have 1 over 2 plus some constant uh, divided by e to the x squared, okay? Now the equation was in terms of y, not in terms of u. So I can replace u with 1 over y. And then if I wanted to, I could isolate, I could take the reciprocal of both sides, use partial fractions, but I think you know how to do that. So I'm going to end the video here. If you like uh, the math series or you want to know how to solve more differential equations, like homogeneous differential equations, systems of differential equations, um, just leave a comment below or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.